Welcome to Two Point Hospital, a game I've been looking forward to for so long. Ever since I saw the first screenshot, I was like, I need this game in my life. So it's basically the spiritual um, successor to Theme Hospital, a game I used to love and play so, so much. We now have a release date for this game as well. Um, I, think it, I think it's around the 28th of August, the end of August, comes out on PC, and I'm so excited. So goddamn excited. So I went down to Sega in London and played the game. Thank you to Sega for inviting me. It's not a sponsored video, but they invited me down and I got to play the game for a little bit. So yes, this is the initial first hospital of the game. I guess like the part one, where we learn the basics, how the game works, how to put down rooms, how to hire, hire staff, put down items and the basics of the game. All right, so let's put down a reception first. If you guys know, this is always the first building you put down. It's where the customers, the patients go to and go, please, do you have a doctor in here? My arm was falling off. I'm uh, not quite as severe as that, but yeah, you get the point. So we have to hire an assistant, our first ever member of the team. And you see our little perks there. The, the more experienced staff will cost more money, but obviously you get more benefits. So all those perks will add up. Uh, that'll make it a more of a higher star individual. And that's time to add a GP office. So this is where the patients will go. Um, ideally, I would give you a little bit of advice. Um, I would put down two, almost like straight away, because the patients flood in and GP office just gets a little bit overrun. So it's got to be a three by three building, or room even, uh, and a desk, a filing cabinet, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, of course, a door as well. And, of course, a doctor. So put the building down, put the parts you need into that room, press the tick icon, boom, done. And then hire a doctor. So again, you can spend loads. Um, I could use individual perks. Uh, I went for the best doctor available. The hospital is now officially open. So patients can come in and we can uh, help them out. <laughs> so... Um, I do have a tiny bit of like an exclusive, I guess. I asked, um, would this game come out? I'm a massive console player, so I was like, would this game come out on console? And they sort of said yes. So, no dates as of yet, but it, it may be coming at some point. Just, just so you guys know. Uh, we slowly unlock more and more buildings. You will see that little, I think it's like a K, like a little coin icon in the bottom right. So... That's what you can use to unlock items, like radiators, air condition units. Uh, that was our first patient, by the way. We now need a pharmacy, so that's where we make the drugs. We need a, a nurse for that. Um, once we put this drug mixer down, we can hire, I believe, a nurse. She can mix the drugs up, and that will cure the patient. Uh, at the top right, we have little mini objectives. So there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Um, hire a nurse. We have two available nurses. Um, also be aware, this obviously this is not the full game as of yet. It's like an earlier build. Yes, yeah, so you've got one and two. So two patients are waiting for drugs. Give me the drugs. I want to feel better. <laughs> Please got a bit of grout. I'm going to be some sort of like stomach issue. The drugs have been mixed. I love his little moustache and his hat. I love I'm so I'm so to this game. Oh. It's completely my cup of tea. Like honestly, I I'm gonna play this game a lot. <laughs> on YouTube and of course on Facebook as well. I'm actually planning I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream with my, my wife because she loves theme hospital. We don't really do anything together. Um, but this game we will. That's how special this game is. <laughs> she actually doesn't like games, but this game she will play. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Right, so you've been cured. Next patient who is lined up outside. We do need some more chairs. Um, we need some distractions as well. And of course, a janitor to clean up everyone's mess. When they vomit, um, to get rid of ghosts. Yep, I, I said that correctly. Obviously this is more of a jokey game, if, in case you guys haven't figured that out already. It's not like a serious, like, this person's dying. All right. It's, it's serious in that sense, but it's, 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 you can laugh at it as well. So there's a, there's a disease, like lightheaded, and the guy comes in with a light bulb as a head. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the sort of game this is. Our first janitor. Yeah. So you've got 
uh, benches, drink machines, loads of stuff to unlock though, honestly loads. Um, we do have 10 points though, so that's not really many points. Uh, fire extinguisher, in case of fires, of course. Bins for rubbish, put a few about. It's annoying me how that GP office isn't perfectly in line with the reception. It's sort of a bit, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can move it as well. It's very easy to edit buildings, which I love. You can move them around. Keeping people happy with snacks and food. Oh, yes. I've started exploring past lives. It's a weird um, DJ. Um, the only thing I don't like about this game is this DJ. He's really annoying. I don't know what he's talking about. He seems to love his own voice. And it's just a bit like... It still grates on you a little bit. That's my only negative so far. But apart from that, I played the game for... Two to three hours. Obviously, it's very hard to get a sense of the whole game um, in those couple of hours. But... I really liked it, apart from that DJ, which I did turn off, so. <laughs> He's gone, <laughs> so don't worry about that. Right. More patients going in. Appointment with the pharmacy. I should have some chairs out there, but. This is the first time I'm playing it, like right now. I'll just give you guys like the first sort of impressions, the first uh, bit of gameplay. I don't do not just like edit and put all the, the, sort of, the, sort of, the sort of diseases in perhaps, or the buildings. That sort of ruins it a little bit. So I wanted to just sort of show you guys the start of it, the basic stuff, I guess. You can pick up individuals and sort of drag them around, so your staff. So say you want a certain nurse to be in a ward, for example, you can just drag, drag them away. A treatment has failed. Oh, I think that person might be dying. I just saw a skull mark. Whoops. <laughs> so, um, Along with having staff, you need the right staff to be doing their jobs. If I've got a bad nurse or a cheap nurse, she might make mistakes and she could kill uh, patients. So, yeah. Uh, now we need a staff room, which is currently being unlocked. So this is where the, obviously the staff go and rest. They chill, have a break, have a sit down, watch some TV. Try and get away from work. Lunchtime, that, that wonderful hour break. I used to love, I used to work in retail and I used to just be obsessed with my breaks. I'd take every second I could. Toilet's unlocked. Ooh. So I'm going to drag this guy. Chuck him in the staff room. Got a couple of guys chilling there already. Go in there. Have a break. So you got their energy levels, their happiness, um, their traits as well. So some staff might be unmotivated. Um, there is training as well and research. So there's a lot of stuff in the future of the game like in terms of uh, keeping the game going. Uh, there's a lot to it. You can train every staff member you want. Well, yeah, it does cost money. Uh, that staff member will become unavailable. Ooh, plants. Ooh, a bit of greenery. They always say having a bit of um, a bit of plant life in your house makes you feel energized, a bit of life. The greenery. Uh, toilets. Uh, let's stick the toilets in the corner. Also, you can buy um, certain areas outside the hospital and expand, which is quite nice. For example, I took, um, I bought a playground. <laughs> I felt quite bad, but I bought a playground and I expanded my hospital. Or you can destroy an apartment block. It's a bit, yeah, it's quite serious in some ways, I guess. So we've got a sink, hand dryer, two toilets. I would probably need more toilets later on, but for now that's, that's fine. As you can see there, like we had small reds. Eventually, um, you work in hot areas, so you need aircon. Uh, you work in cold areas, you need reds. So trying to keep the, the patients happy and the staff becomes a little bit more tricky, I guess, later on. So I'm having some snacks, good for you. So for example, the, uh, the patients might get bored. So you need uh, leaflets. For some reason, they seem to like leaflets. Eventually, I unlocked uh, a magazine rack, plus stuff to keep them entertained. We have a new building. So for the more serious um, illnesses, I guess you can call it, we need this, the GD. <laughs> Hospital level is improving. We're now level two. So levels down there, reputation in the general community about how good this, hosp this hospital is, is slowly growing as well. 
Uh, we have 50 points to unlock items, which I don't actually work out until I um, finish my game session, which is great. Which is kind of annoying. But yeah, I, honestly, once the game comes out, I'm going to be playing it so much. The end of August could not come soon enough. Oh, I need it so bad. Yes, we've got a, a sort of um, a bed for them to lay on. We can sort of diagnose what their issues are. And that will involve, I believe, a nurse again as well. So staff count is going up. We've got to try and keep the, uh, the plus numbers as well. So cure two patients, get hospital to level three. Uh, that's with the ward as well, to unlock, to unlock the ward. So there's always like something to do, something to think about, um, some research to do, certain training to do. There's always something going on. Uh, I sort of forgot sometimes that we can just pause the game, but that is definitely something that's going to be useful for you guys. If it's a little bit over overbearing, just pause the game. You can still build, put stuff down. There's no, there's no rush. But I was in like a sort of a confined state where I was like having to do something, uh, record something nice and quick. And I sort of panicked a little bit, I guess. We've unlocked the walls. Yay. So again, this is for the more serious illnesses. They will go to the wall. They will rest there. It does involve a nurse. Um, I think there's actually a perk for the wall being good at the, the walls. See so the screen, uh, nurse station, bed, and walled doors. So put the door perhaps at the front, um, the nurse station at the front as well, and put down some beds and a screen so they can get changed in privacy. Um, increasing demand. Build two GP offices, hire two doctors, hire two nurses. Um, ooh, some more unlocks there as well. Uh, right. Okay, for a range of different illnesses, we need a nurse though. A very good nurse would be required, I would say. It's a very important job. Very important. Uh, only two beds. That will have to be expanded at some point. But for now, that's fine. That guy is, uh, or girl, is lightheaded. Yep. <laughs> it's not just a headache. It's an actual light bulb. You have to disconnect their head, their light bulb head, and put their old head back on. I know. It boggles the mind. How does... This is not a serious game in any way. That's completely fine. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I wasn't very good with space in this first hospital. Like, I should just put the GP office next to the other GP office, just to save space. Otherwise, space goes very quickly. Another nurse. Uh, so you got pharmacy there as a plus, but this person has a ward perk. So there we go. Uh, we just leveled up the hospital. Uh, we now need to earn 15,000. Nice. So unlocks the deluxe clinic. So that's what we use to uh, take the light bulb heads off and put the old ones on. That's that's what you need. So, so that's only I believe that build that room would be purely um, just for that 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 actual disease. I guess lightheadedness. <laughs> I love that. So cool. You get a few more like uh, I think it's like a night fever one for example. I won't, I won't name too many, but where the guy just constantly dances and he won't stop dancing. <laughs> so what? Oh, I love it. So good. Right, it's quite an expensive building or room. I guess it's a building. It's an expensive room. So that will involve a lot of money. But we need it. So we don't have much options. Right, so can you expand your hospital to acquire one star? Uh, you guys might have seen that star rating at, at the start. So the max you can get is three stars. We have zero stars right now. But if we cure three lightheadedness patients, we unlock that one star. And then we can move to another hospital, another challenge, or we can stay here and get three stars. It's completely up to us. So we need uh, the actual machine itself and a console and I believe a doctor actually. And I had a lot of issues with this. You need, a, you need a really good doctor, basically. And this procedure might have failed a few times. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> it's a bit shocking. That's what I'm going to say. It's shocking. So there's the doctor. I'm going to move the door around the front. Again, very easy to do edits, to move buildings around. You can not You can delete your whole room. Um, you can move it around as well. You can expand it, make it smaller. All on the fly, which I love. 
Love that. I love this. It's not too like. Once the building's down, the room is down. You can't change it. You can change it. Sounds like a very small thing, but. Uh, what I noticed one time, sometimes when I moved stuff around, they would still go back out of the room and still go back into it, which was a bit weird. I guess that's a sort of very minor little glitch. Flux said, oh, yep, someone got, um, that's now Ghost. So, we try to take the, low, the light bulb out of the head and it sort of failed and someone died. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, damn. It just says like, you've screwed up. <laughs> and the person just slowly faints. It's now what I'll consider a friendly ghost. But this guy's happy, so that's good. Got 10,000 for that. And we're one towards getting our first star in the hospital. A janitor can get rid of the ghosts, but I don't have the ability yet or the perk for that. So, yep. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The patients are freaking out. I mean, you go to a hospital um, hoping to get cured and then you see a ghost of a dead patient. It's not the best feeling, is it? It's not the most reassuring feeling ever. It's not, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so if you guys also don't follow my Facebook page, I said already I will be live streaming this with my wife. Um, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, I'll be doing a series on the channel as well, on YouTube. So yeah, I'm really excited for this game. So is this person okay? Let's find out. Let's see what happens. So there's the head. Are you okay? No. <laughs> it fails. Again. I'm doing so bad. I think the doctor is just not good enough. He's not a great doctor. I was looking there for like, is he the right person for this? Have I screwed up in some way? Is it the, is it the room? Is it broken? And that person's a ghost. It's only just disappeared. Just Your gone. Just thinking, have I missed Please something? Why is this not working? I think there might actually be a perk for this actual room. I don't know. This clinic. Maybe. Next patient. <laughs> oh, fingers crossed. He has, clearly has no... He doesn't know the history of what we've done so far. One cured and one's died. So if I a new doctor, I'm hoping um, we could fire this person or we could put him somewhere else. I'm hoping she's better. Please. Yeah, fire staff. I feel bad, but you're off. Oh, he saved as well. So, okay, we're half and half. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, 20 patients have been cured. Well done to us. So this doctor should hopefully be better. Fingers crossed. So let's, uh, let's track this patient. Let's track here. Let's see what happens. So, been diagnosed by the GP. <laughs> it's quite obvious, let's be honest. The person's got a light bulb as a head. So it flashes as well. <laughs> yeah, also, if this video does well enough, hopefully Sega will let me upload more gameplay. So let me make sure you leave your likes, your comments, and potentially I can show you guys more. But for now, it'll be only 20 minutes, which I know kind of sucks, but I can't show you anymore. Is it gonna work? Place. Place, place, place. Where's the head? Don't ask where the head comes from. I don't know. So is this doctor better? Yay! Also, we unlock the next hospital. We get a reward as well of 10,000. And also, they're quick, K, hey, which I guess is uh, their currency for unlocking stuff. Uh, also, the light headed poster. Very cool. So you can stay in this hospital, max out, get three stars, or you can move on to the next one. It's up to you. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. It's been a lot of fun. I can't wait for this game. I've got a bunch more gameplay, so hopefully, say, let me upload more. Fingers crossed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.